Good morning. It is me, Mikey Pipes. It is Monday morning, 6.54 a.m. Today is March 8th. And today, Godzilla and I, minus Mike, Mike Colton's sick today, he hurt his back. Today, we are giving the Salvation Army, well, one of their houses at least, a brand new steam boiler. The one, she's, the one they got is leaking above the water line. And every time she fills up, she overfills, of course. And water is all over the place. So that's what we're doing today. But first, I got a box right here addressed to Mikey Pipes. Wait, that's me from Amazon. Let's see what's inside. Let's see what we got here. Let's see. Ooh, is this a tool bag? Oh, yes, it is. This is a Klein tool bag. Ah, this is for Steven, a.k.a. Godzilla. He got himself another gift from a subscriber. Thank you very much. When he arrives in a little bit, we'll give him the gift and get his reaction. Uncut, raw, unedited. Stay tuned, guys. Mike's new car? No. What's <laughs> up, so, YouTube? There's a box for you on the floor, Godzilla. This? Yes. Right. Let's get your reaction. <laughs> oh, shit. Yeah, this one's definitely not falling apart. <laughs> Damn. It's like Christmas. Look at that. This one looks a little more sturdy. Definitely more sturdy. Use it in good health. I will. Thank you, guys. Appreciate you. All right. Today, that was hard work, but definitely, definitely sweet access. All right, today we're taking out this Burnham SIN7. Seven section. And she's grossly, grossly oversized for this house. We're gonna redo the piping here. We have two dry returns here. We're gonna maintain all that. All this we're gonna maintain. We're gonna redo from right here, Hartford loop. We're gonna make this two inch, two by inch and a quarter steam tee right there and get it done. Start taking this bad boy apart. Start with the tool bag. One of the first things we always do is make sure our power is off. I have my Fluke non-contact electrical tester. Is it my Fluke? Yep, it's Fluke. All right. See? Power's off. So we're good there. Start stripping down all the controls. It's not breaking this thing down. We're gonna split this thing up in sections. Just real quickly want to show you guys that nipple right there was hooked up to the pressure troll. You can tell that uh, the system hasn't been serviced professionally or even by a hack. <laughs> but I think even a hack would know better. Take out, you know, the uh, pressure troll and make sure that the pigtail is clean. And make sure that the nipple is clean as well because she's just running with no control of pressure, especially being oversized. You know, I wouldn't be surprised if the uh, the relief valve went off a couple times. All right, we'll check that out next. Still draining, we slid her out of the way. Count the sections, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. It's a big girl. And again, grossly oversized for this house. Unbelievable. We're putting in an IN5. Gonna utilize the tapping on the right, pick up both steam mains, use that for future service, dumping in the boiler treatment I like to put in, the Surge Master. We'll come across, tie in our equalizer, all in two inch to there, and we're gonna put in a, a heel tee right there. Even, so. you know what time it is? <sighs> Not literally. It's, it's time for the reveal party. We're gonna reveal 
whether or not she has a hole. We know she has a hole. Let's take off the lid. Let's see. Oop, there she is. Boom, there it is. Boom, laka shaka, laka shaka, laka shaka. That's my Boom. yo, that's my commercial. <laughs> shaka, laka shaka. <laughs> there she is. Right there. See that hole? All right, I'm gonna get the grinder out, cut the two threaded rod retaining rods, start splitting this bad boy apart. I'm gonna take it off the uh, combustion firebox first. Godzilla, you know what I realized? What did you realize, bro? You don't need a gym membership working for me. <laughs> not, not at all. <laughs> <laughs> not with those fucking things. You should have called me strong enough. <laughs> yeah. All right. All the sections of the boiler are gone. Let's see what time it is. It is 9.05. We're going to do a nice little clean up here. One of the things I noticed once we took the boiler out... PVC, it's cast iron. Look at this. Look how they put in that no hub coupling. Psh, come on. What a hack job that is right there. I got no problem, you know, replacing cast iron with PVC, but at least use or at least put on the no hub coupling on the right way. You know, that doesn't look nice. Not the right job. All right, we're going to do a general cleanup here. Get all this stuff out of the way. And then reconnect it. When I was taking out the union, the nipple came out. They just used Teflon tape there, so we're gonna make up the nipples coming down to feed the two headers. Gonna get some. Uh, Steve's gonna get some threading experience today. The threading machine outside. All right, stay tuned, guys. All right, let's quickly take a look at the piping diagram. It's on page 18. And let's talk about minimum pipe size. All right, let's take a look at the riser coming out of there. All right, it is optional. The second two inch supply riser is optional with those two stars. And that applies to the IN3, 4, 5, and 6. We're gonna plug the second two inch supply riser because it is optional. And then we're gonna follow those directions right there to the T. We're gonna do that little drop header as well. So stay tuned. All right, got our first piece going in. That's a 20 inch nipple coming out of the boiler. We're gonna point that elbow towards the back. I got Godzilla on the 24 inch pipe wrench. And he's tightening up the elbow and the nipple at the same time. Yes, the boiler is moving. He's gonna point that right towards the back. We're gonna make that, uh, that drop header that all of you guys complained that I don't do. Is she looking? All right, let's give some Steven some more instruction on the rigid 300. First, we got to make sure the pipe is secure. One, two, three. She's on there. Let's get the opposite side like that. Now, you're going to throw some oil on that right there. Oh, I went too far off now. We're good. Get a little bit of oil on there. Okay, drop the die. Good, make sure she's on forward. She's on reverse. Okay, give her some power and push this in. And then where am I putting oil? You're gonna put it over there. Over here? Yeah, just get it started. You gotta push this in, Steven. Give her some oil. Alright, switch to the other side. Full pumps. Going. I go a little bit more. Keep going. Don't oh. stop with the oil. Don't stop with the oil, Stephen. Never stop with the oil. Stop. Put in reverse. Never stop with the oil. 
you will destroy the die, and then we'll have to like retire for the day. Oh, that's not okay. Good. Throw in reverse a little bit. All right, flip this up. We'll pull it out. Let's get this out of the way. <laughs> Remember lefty loosey righty tidy. Lefty, loosey, righty, tidy. Now, remember our dimension, right? What did uh -huh. I say is needed to be? Nine inches. All right, so let's take a measurement, nine inches, and use the the cutter. All right. Okay. Open that up. What are you doing? You can still gotta tighten this up. And the other side as well. And one thing you also forgot to do is get the oil out. But we'll get it on the on the go around. Give it some power, start cutting. Be very careful doing this. Your finger gets stuck in there. It's taking the finger with you. Get all the oil out so you don't gotta skim. Get the cutter out of the way, get rid of the pipe, and then we'll thread the other side of this. Holy shit. The fish jump. almost jumped, wanted to jump out of the fish tank. Look at it. Oh, more smoke in here. Let me uh, close these up. <laughs> wow. Gangster. All right, Steven's got the blue monster, and then I'm using Pro Dope on the nipples, and I connect our two steam mains, and continue on with our neutral uh, neutralizer, our equalizer. Tightening up the nipple coming out of the steam T, picking up the other second steam main. We're tightening up the union and the nipple at the same time, and then we'll swing the T into place and connect the union. Okay, I'm gonna get debris this there. We got some play there, so we're good. So you're getting that money. Pythons. All day. <laughs> get that money. Join Mikey Pipes Gym. Membership starting at fifteen dollars an hour. <laughs> we got a member one of these days, right? <laughs> oh, we have a uh, YouTube subscriber ride along tomorrow. Mm -hmm. By the way, That's I think cool. it's Mister. I don't want to mention his. Yeah, Mister Mark Jacobs. Yep. All right, lives in Floral Park, and tomorrow we are installing. We're doing an oil to gas conversion. We're taking out an old steam boiler and putting in a Navian NFC one seventy five. Nice, sweet, custom job. Everything's gonna be brand new. Everything's gonna be brand new. All right, keep tighten that up. Make, make it nice and snug, Steven. Gotcha. AKA Godzilla. All right, let's take a look so far what we got. Two inch coming up. Elbow, drop header. Another elbow. First steam T, second steam T, 245s. I had a little bit of a difference here of distance so i had to elbow break with 245s alternatively i could have cut that back there through a union over there and slide the whole boil a little bit closer and actually slide the boil a little bit further away bringing the whole header with me but i just used 245s instead i have a, a seven and a half inch piece right here a two inch that brings my Two by inch and a quarter steam T dead center with the side glass exactly where it needs to be. I'm gonna clean this up a little bit. I got my inch and a quarter 
close nipple right there, not a shoulder, close. It's written in the manual, that's what you should put there with my inch and a quarter Steam 45 coming down. Steven's cutting an 18 inch piece of inch and a quarter. We're gonna throw a union there and I'm gonna replace this, replace this, extend this, extend that, boom, to my wet return, which we're using a dry wet return here, but still that's the way to do it. All right, well, he's cutting that 18 inch piece. I'm gonna do some more of the electric here, put my relay inside bring in the uh, line voltage in and uh, get all these things wired up. All right, just dumped in my Surgex. This one I had in the had in the shop, the broken cap, so I figured, you know what, let me just use it here instead of the, uh, the other powder and get it out of the way. You know, otherwise it's gonna just fall over and get everywhere. All right, as you guys always know, I put my my 45 on that secondary supply if I'm not using it and I throw in the supplied plug um, I guess I could use a coupling here but I always order an extra couple extra 45s and this is the purpose for that all right <clears throat> excuse me as you can see I have all my steam trim in place my boiler is halfway filled with water maybe I would say maybe closer to three quarter but it's all good I got my wet return all piped in there I ran out of three-quarter boiler drain, so I threw in a three-quarter gas cock. It's marked W-O-G, so you can use it for both. W-O-G is water, oil, gas, so we're good with that right there. All right, we're going to start wiring up um, the line and low voltage controls here. We're going to use the Wagos. Let's get rid of this one. We don't need that one today. What we do need is this one. Here we go. I'm gonna use the Wagos and all this all this good stuff here. I'm gonna cut back on my line voltage, throw in a Wago there with my transformer and uh, get to work. Stay tuned. All right, I got Godzilla working on the flue pipe. All right, so why don't you stick your elbow on the end of that, all right? Mm -hmm. And then take a measurement. Okay. And then you have to cut back, you know, that piece there anyway. Mm -hmm. And you gotta cut a piece coming off the top of the automatic vent damper. Yep. And if you notice what's different about this installation is that you see this? <clears throat> this seven by six smoke reducer, that was there mm -hmm. on the old boiler. Big no-no, you never, ever, ever reduce down exhaust on a uh, fuel burning appliance, no. never, never, ever. Unless it's written in the manual, you can do that, but never, ever, ever do that. All right, you're gonna have to come down, all right? You have good pitch there, stick it back in there. No, you need the end. Okay, shove that in there. Behind the scenes. Yeah, unedited. Okay. Uncut and un unedited raw Mikey pipes and Godzilla. All right, now, make sure that you have a good, try to bring this down, it's a tad, a tad, okay. Now take a measurement from there there and cut that piece well, let's take a look at the electrical this is very easy guys you see that this diagram follow that diagram you see that follow that as well there's your 1900 box there's your your cover plate right wire tie Canada only huh interesting all right and there's a the transformer and look at all my Wagos it I gotta tell you something it really made a world of a difference here this is beautiful all right, everything is nice, neat, and secure, tight. It's beautiful. All I have to do now is just mount the transformer to the box, and we're done. All right, the gas is already hooked up, ready. The gas is on, pressure tested. He's working on the flu. We've got the chemical in there. All we have to do is fire up the thermostat and uh, do a combustion test. So stay tuned. All right, real quickly, I'm going to go over the wiring for the Unimatch WFE24. On the WFE24, we have hot, which is my red wire. We have neutral, which is my blue wire. And we have W, which I made my white wire. Down on here, terminal number two gets our common, which is our blue wire. Terminal one is power, that's our red wire. And terminal A is our white wire, which is W 
on the WFU24. And this is with a CG400, which as you can see right there. Godzilla's finishing up the flue piping. And I'm gonna turn on this boiler. We have to lower that pressure troll, but that's the way it came from the factory. Turn that bad boy on. That relay clicked in, that's the thermostat relay. And if you notice, nothing is happening. So we're gonna plug in a little cutoff. Just go through a self check right there. My automatic vent damper is opening and then we'll have ignition. Steven's putting three screws into each joint on the flue piping, that's code. And we should have ignition momentarily. There we go, look at that. And the time now is 12.22. Two guys, Mikey Pipes One and Godzilla. One is an apprentice, I saw the comments. <laughs> Say it again? One is an apprentice, I saw the comments. <clears throat> the only thing left to do right now is clean up everything and while we're doing that once we're done cleaning up everything we'll throw the testo 320 into the back of the diverter and do a combustion and draft test there you go getting it done all right let's quickly go over everything real quick real quick here's my steam main coming out of the top of the boiler you guys asked for it, there it is. Mikey Pipes delivered. There's your drop header. Two inch steam 90, nipple two inch steam 90, two inch steam T, two inch steam T, union, union. Nipple's going up to my two headers. My uh, distance here, like I said before, is a little bit off from there to there. So I threw in 245s, rolled them a little bit. Now we're good. Um, two by inch and a quarter steam T from my Hartford loop with the inch and a quarter close nipple right there this is a seven and a half inch piece by the way for future reference brings you right to the middle of the side glass seven and a half inches right there and my uh wet return my wet return with the hardford loop drops down 18 inches with the inch and a quarter pipe nipple threw in a few elbows there with a nipple a couple nipples tying this back in not touching this at all okay on the other side i got my skim tapping is capped off. We don't use it, I've never used it. I clean my pipes when we're threading and I treat the boiler with um, steam, uh, Surgex here. Uh, it's a little crooked there, come on, Steven. There you go. I got my 15 PSI relief valve, another nipple, elbow, drop down. No threads at the bottom of that, guys. Six inch all the way, six inch automatic vent damper, Single wall flue pipe, 90. Another single wall flue pipe to the Y existing. She's running. Got that steam boil treatment in there. She's lime green, radioactive, baby. Radioactive. You've got to adjust the pressure troll. Paul Barnum, US boiler. Register it. Getting it done. I really like the way goes for all the electrical connections there. Really made the job faster, neater, and in my opinion, more professional. Finished up with the combustion test right there, sticker, and we're good. Now we're cleaning up. One thing left to do, this was on the last one. Let's put that right back there, bow.